Having a clear and accurate org chart does wonders for helping your people know who they need to go to when they need something. And you can create one right inside your training account. Pro tip, it's best to wait to create your org chart until after you've added all of your people. This is because the org chart relies on who someone directly reports to. And if that person isn't in the program yet, that leaves a gap in the org chart. Make sense? I'll start by clicking the Add Org Chart button. And now I can create my org chart in two easy steps. Step one, I've got to select my highest ranking executive. So I'll do that right here. There we go. And once I've done that, on to step two. I'm just going to go through all of my people and make sure I assign them to the person they directly report to. Now, FYI, if I leave anyone blank in here, they just simply won't show up on the org chart. And when I'm all done, I've gone through everyone, I've made all the assignments I'm ready to make at this point, I can click Save at the top of the screen, and then we can check out this super awesome masterpiece we just created. And there it is. My whole organization laid out all on one page for me. Beautiful. One last note. I can edit my org chart at any time by clicking the Modify Org Chart button at the top right of the screen.